Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for June 12th, 2019. So yesterday we saw those bears come in trying to defend some levels of resistance. We talked about that yesterday, that possibility of them coming in and defending and that possibility of that pop and drop pattern. Now pop and drop pattern, if, if you're not familiar with that term, um, that would mean we get a gap up in the morning, gap up, and then we get no uh, bullish price action to support uh, that gap up open and the bears come in and, and actually sell it off. Now I got um, this big candle here, this big spike down here, there was some kind of bad tick in the market on the Dow and it, it recorded across a lot of different trading platforms. Um, not really sure what that was, but it, um, it, they did put out that it was a bad tick. So we didn't really have this hammer looking pattern. What we ended up in the day is we ended up with a bearish engulfing pattern here on the diamonds. Now bearish engulfing pattern doesn't necessarily mean that the world's coming to an end, but it does usually suggest that we have a lower low um, today that doesn't mean it has to stay low that we get that lower print we could bounce from there this morning just that we get a lower print of some kind today and right now our futures are kind of suggesting that as you can see Dow futures are suggesting a, a modest gap down uh, this morning now when we take a look at this chart and we see these price resistance and, and this price, all this price support that may be right in this area on this chart, let's take a look and see what we could possibly expect. Now, I think we're going to be in really good shape here in the market if these reclaimed 50-day moving averages can be defended by the bulls. So if we slip down here and test that 50-day moving average, the bulls defend that area and we fight back up off of there, this actually sets up uh, the possibility for an attack of all-time highs, um, holding that higher low. Now, I wouldn't expect that to be a one day thing, you know, where we just push down here, we test it and we bounce right off and head to the moon. Uh, as a matter of fact, I would unless there's news that creates that. As a matter of fact, what I would probably suggest is we could end up after such an extreme move up a rather long term. Um, could be days and days and days of potential consolidation in this in this area and maybe even in this range where we bounce around in here as the bulls and bears kind of battle for control um, in this market. And that would be rather logical. This is a, a, a fairly large battleground already in um, in the market. So we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. Now, there was news last night that um, some more tough talk on U.S.-China trade relations. And um, the suggestion now is that there is highly likely no deal that is going to be made at the G20 meeting coming up. And honestly, I don't know that that surprises too many people with the stubbornness between the two countries right here. But that is kind of placed a little bit of a damper um you know sent the police to the bull party here to quiet it down <laughs> and so a little bit of rest a little bit of pullback a little bit of consolidation is not out of the question but if we can hold around that 50-day moving average area then we should be in pretty good shape here on the Dow, we'll have to watch that pretty closely. Of course, any news that suggests that we're gonna have this lingering trade war can certainly affect us here. And one of the things we wanna recognize in this chart, as, as much as we want this market to go up, what we wanna look at is that this is officially a lower high. So if we get any follow through to the downside in the Dow, that would be a lower high. And as a matter of fact, that lower high could potentially set up this head and shoulders type pattern on the market. 
Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that we fall from here. Um, it's just a pattern showing up in the overall market. And if we look at a weekly chart, we can see that we do have um, some trouble here with this price resistance above these all-time highs. So this lower high, if this were to receive some follow-through to the downside, could be a major technical blow for the chart. Just kind of keep that in mind. Not suggesting that's going to occur, just suggesting that that possibility does exist and we'll have to pay attention to it. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY rallying up strongly, hitting price resistance, shooting star, bearish engulfing pattern. Definitely not the kind of thing we want to see in the market. And this pullback here this morning and once again so far i think we're going to be okay as long as we prove to hold that 50-day moving average notice that 50-day moving average has started to tip up here so if those bulls defend if we pull back into here if we get some rest if we bounce around in here consolidate we could certainly build a case for an attack of all-time highs but if we happen to slip back below that 200 day moving or 50 day moving average that would certainly be um, uh, something that could embolden the, the bears and um, create some real technical damage in the chart with this lower high um, in the SPY. Keep in mind that we have on this bigger pattern just some real challenging highs up here that we're going to have to work through and I don't know that I don't think we're going to be able to rip through them just like we did in this rally. I think this is going to be more of a challenge as we move higher. So just kind of keep that in mind and we have our price resistance up here that is clearly now well defined by uh, this bearish pattern and i think like i say i think we're going to be okay as long as we hold above that area and i think it would be perfectly acceptable as i said that if we just kind of bounce around in here for a while and rest in fact that might be the best thing that could happen to us um, in this market is we just take a nice long rest here try to consolidate um, that area so we need to see those bulls step up and really do a strong um, area of defense in here Let's take a look at the Qs. Now, the Qs did a better job yesterday. NASDAQ not putting in that bearish engulfing pattern, certainly creating a dark cloud cover pattern. And that's not really um, something that we want to see um, in the market. That dark cloud definitely suggests that there should be more lows. And this morning, of course, this gap down, we're receiving those. So getting a little gap down here in the market. And I think that's okay, once again, as long as we can hold on to this range here in that 50-day moving average. You can see yesterday was a failure of that 50-day. And following through um, on down today could be a little bit of a devastation, a devastating move for the the Nasdaq, particularly if it were to lose the the low of this candle here. If we were to break down like that, um, that would suggest a failure at the 50-day moving average, and could really bring in those bears uh, pushing that tech sector down. And we know that the tech sector is really pretty sensitive to this trade war right now. They've even even started calling it a tech war instead of a trade war. Now, um, once again, this could officially put in that lower high over here on the market. And that's something we want to consider and watch pretty closely if that is the case. So just keep that in mind as you plan out your day. If we hold those 50-day moving averages, I think we're going to be okay. If we fail those and, and see those bears pushing on through, back down through those levels. We could have some serious problems here um, in the market, technically. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, well, this guy's just been in a serious situation for some time now, continuing in its downtrend. Now, um, 
possibly printing out this lower high. We've got that bearish engulfing, that shooting star pattern right here, underneath a substantial level of price resistance. Not a good sign for IWM. Those small caps not looking good here and um, suggests that we will um, see some lower prints here on IWM. And this morning we are gapping down toward the lower that day uh, yesterday. And it wouldn't be at all a surprise to see us pull back into here, maybe to test and hold this level of support. Could be, um, you know, that positive sign that we need. But if that were to fail, um, we could have some serious damage here um, in IWM. Take a look at our moving averages. Notice that we are failing right here, the 50, the 200. Um, we have a fairly substantial resistance area forming up in our averages on that chart. So not a healthy picture here for IWM, and I would suggest probably the weakest of the indexes at the moment, the one that gives us the most concern. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX has been honestly perplexing. Um, it's like the VIX has just decided to not participate. There's no fear um, here in the market whatsoever, but we haven't seen um, we haven't seen this fall like we would think we should see when the market rallies in such a big way. That gives me a little bit of concern that that there's just been no. Um, no pullback in this after such a bullish move. So it's been acting very, very strange here. And I don't know exactly what that means for the market. But what I will say is we have a well-defined level of price support in here. If we can hold this area and those bears start coming in, that could be, you know, a little bit of concern here for the market. But we also have to recognize that we are in a downtrend. And also this could be forming that wedge pattern in here where we just wind around in this area. It'll be interesting to see if the VIX starts participating again, but it's been a rather odd situation where it's just been ho-hum, like nobody cares. Um, we'll see how long that lasts. So just keep an eye on it. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. You can see we did, um, after that gap up, we gapped up into here in that four week new high, new low ratio yesterday. And then the selling brought us back down and show us this pattern where we're failing at these levels. So um, this pullback, if we get more pullback, that could certainly draw us down. Now, don't fear that because if it draws us down, what that does is, let's say we finish the day, uh, um, T2122 finishes the day down in here someplace. That opens the door for upside move. You know, we've stretched this rubber band to the upside just a little bit too far. And so this pullback could actually set up more upside. But we also have to recognize that we certainly could if those bears uh, push in there gives us a big open door to the downside as well. So consider that as you plan your day forward. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar is likely going to have a little bit of say about what happens today. Um, we have uh, our CPI number here at 8.30 a.m. this morning. So keep an eye on that CPI. Right now, uh, last reading was at 3%. They're expecting the reading to be 1%. Uh, today. So, uh, but you know, here's the thing. Um, we had a decline in our PPI and um, e although it came in as expected, as the analyst expected, that didn't affect the market at all. So even though that declined. So here we have CPI. If, if our uh, CPI declines by two percentage points, it'll be interesting to see if that comes in in line with expectations, if the market just yawns and says ho-hum, or if they look at that CPI, uh, um, that consumer price uh, thing, uh, pulling back who knows maybe they catch inspiration that hey that that supports the idea of uh, rate cuts and we rally who knows it's been really odd price actions like we're betting against our own economy with um with this rate um uh 
decrease rally that we've seen but kind of an interesting situation and then um, we have the EIA petroleum status report today and that certainly has the potential to move the market around now we have plenty of oil surpluses that and if those surpluses continue that could certainly affect those oil stocks today if there's happen, happens to be a surprise decline in surpluses we could see that and give the market a little bit of help in supporting itself um, at these high prices so watch that today and then the treasury budget later today wouldn't expect that to move the market at all um, later on this afternoon so on the earnings calendar today we only have about 15 companies reporting earnings today and none of them would be expected to um, really move the market around lulu reports today and um, as you can see it's been in a current downtrend i've kind of been keeping an eye on this chart um, waiting to see if it can pop back through that downtrend and maybe hold or if it fails here could set up a short trade so watching lulu here just a little bit but um, no decision or nothing showing here in this chart yet on open um, how those earnings might have come in and then tlrd TLRD, another uh, retailer reporting today, uh, we certainly would not expect this to move the market around um, at, at all. And um, I can't tell here whether they've reported or not um, on TLRD, but this has been clearly in a downtrend. Not looking good. So um, once again, don't expect a whole lot of a movement based on the earnings reports today um, we're going to be very continue to be very very sensitive to news anything news related around the china trade war that that shows us um, you know gives us positive hope or or uh, or a negative um, issues could also really affect us today um, or in into the future here on that trade war um, we did have news from China that is uh, affecting the market today. The news from China that their consumer prices um, hit a 15 month high in May, spiking up pretty heavily and showing that food prices over in China raised by 7.7%. And that's starting to show the effects of this trade war over there and um, could really um, start to put some pain in their economy. So we'll wanna watch that because um, as, as uh, if China struggles, um, we could see a US struggle as well. Let's take a, um, a second here and I just wanna thank everyone um, who watches these videos you guys are just the best you know it, it keeps me really really busy to be honest in the morning just answering all those kind comments that you guys leave on these videos i thank you so much for that i truly truly appreciate it so for everyone if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor and click that subscribe button there on youtube and when you click that subscribe button a little pop-up will come up make sure you click that bell icon that notifies you every time i post a video and we're now approaching 600 videos on the channel and and truly the the credit for all of this goes to you guys yes i put in quite a little bit of time putting these videos together but it's it's uh, you folks watching these videos supporting the videos that is really responsible for the growth clicking those thumbs up buttons leaving comments that really helps a ton and I want to say thank you to everyone who does that's very humbling to me to have so many folks um, watching and following this information and, and leaving those kind comments so thank you for that and by the way if you feel that um, these videos are are worthy of sharing feel free to share this video on your Facebook feed your Twitter um, whatever social media outlet you use share it with friends and family anyone that might find some benefit from um, this information remember I'm never trying to predict where the market's going to go I'm merely looking at the support resistance and trend of the charts looking at the obvious things that may affect us and hopefully doing a better job in preparation on how I approach the market for the day and that's really the purpose of these videos on how should we approach the market for the day what are the key factors that we need to be watching for so if you find that helpful please please feel free to share that
So with that, everyone, let's take a look at some charts that are really looking pretty darn good and continuing to set up. Now I'm going to point out this chart again, HIIQ. HIIQ, even though it pulled back from this area yesterday, HIAQ is one of those charts that have established this nice little uptrend after breaking a downtrend. And that's a pattern that I look for. And if this continues, this little move in here, where it's kind of chopping and consolidating over here toward the trend, um, what I would prefer is the price action begins to uh, become smaller in here. If it were to become smaller, a little bit uh, more doji, spinning top candle type of pattern in here, that's what I would prefer as it rests moving over towards trend, then I may have that opportunity to catch that trade to the upside. Watching it close, but you know, if the market turns bullish and this were to drop below that trend line, then I would say this is all over and I'm really done looking at this until this recovers support. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, take a look at AIG. AIG holding in a beautiful pattern. This is an alert I have on the chart and I'm really liking the way um, this chart is setting up on the daily. Now, what I have to also point out is that we have a major level of resistance in this chart that we have to deal with. This pop could be the pop that actually breaks us through that level. And it, you wouldn't necessarily have to trade out of this little pop. Um, you might want to wait until it breaks that resistance, proves to hold that support, and then we could have some really nice upside here in a AIG and look really, really good. Another chart that I think is just looking fantastic is um, uh, Roku. Roku, beautiful upside trend, beautiful consolidation. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the trend that responds, that this stock responds to. I don't know that. I don't, I, I don't want to try and predict that this, um, this it right in here is um, the trend, okay? Um, only suggesting that the possibility exists that this stock has changed its trend trajectory from this little softer trend right in here. And it kind of looks like that right now, but don't be too surprised if this still has to consolidate or move over to this trend, okay? But I'm watching this in here, if this were to happen to pop, right up in here, I would want to watch that, maybe put uh, put on a trade in there and take advantage of that move. So just keep an eye on it. I'm not ready for prime time just yet, but certainly is a chart to pay attention to um, in this uh, nice trend moving up overall. Also, you may want to take a look at, at some of the stocks that are in that defensive sector, stocks that have just held up really, really well, like PepsiCo. PepsiCo just hanging in there, just beautifully trying uh, very consistent in its move, you know, moving up, consolidating over, moving up. This is just like a stair step to heaven here as we continue to move um, this chart higher. And now we're getting that little consolidation possibility of a little pullback in here. And I would suggest if that moves sideways or pulls back toward this trend, that's where we want to start watching for an opportunity into that next uh, possibility of a trade um, on that chart. Um, as you guys know, I've talked about a lot of these charts over and over and over. Um, uh, one of the members yesterday said that I, I've done everything but pound on the table to draw attention to Shopify. And um, that has played out really, really well here. And as you can see, Shopify could be getting that little consolidation now. Um, here's our current trend, maybe um, a rest or consolidation over to that trend, maybe even a possible pullback into that trend to look for the next opportunity in that trade. But Shopify continues in this beautiful, beautiful little trend. Take a look at like uh, MasterCard. MasterCard moving up in a nice trend, catching that pullback right now. Watch this right in here. We, we failed. This is something I always look for. We failed this high here and then broke um, support. So when we broke support, I require that the stock has to 
recover that support area and then prove it can hold it. So this pullback is just what I want to see in the chart. If this pulls back and holds this price support in here, it may have to consolidate a few days, you know, kind of move sideways in here a little bit and then show me buyers. Then I'm very interested in uh, a chart like uh, MasterCard. Take a look at um, PayPal. PayPal also in that same thing moved up very strongly. Any rest or pullback in that could set up more upside in the chart. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I apologize this video got a little bit long, but a, a lot to cover today, and hopefully you got something good out of this. Everyone, take care. I want to wish you all of the best, and thank you so much for everyone who takes that time to click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. Truly, truly appreciate it. Have a great day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning.